name in the world is more instantly recognizable in connection with travel than Thomas Cook. He made it possible for countless millions of tourists to visit stunning locations such as here in Snowdonia in North Wales by arranging excursions at affordable prices for all classes of people. He built a business empire worth billions, but nothing in his early life remotely suggested that he would one day become a household name across the globe. Now, experiencing alcoholism at close quarters over long periods scarred Thomas, but these disturbing experiences, they led him into the temperance movement, the fight against drink and the misery it caused, and this in turn became the springboard for his amazing career in the travel business. From Carnarvon, it was on to Snowdon, and Thomas led the party to the top. Today, there's a much easier way of getting there, and we're on the Snowdon Mountain Railway. For him, the whole trip was such a success that he repeated it two weeks later with a party of 800. He wrote in his diary, from the heights of Snowdon, my thoughts took flight to Loch Lomond, and I determined to try to get to Scotland. With Scotland now firmly in his sights, Thomas planned a tour which would include Glasgow, Edinburgh, and of course, Loch Lomond. One was of special significance to Thomas, Loch Lomond. His vision on the summit of Snowdon had now been realized. People say to me, you've been researching Christian giants of business. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? Surely the world of business and Christians inhabit different moral universes. This is not necessarily the case. There are people who've built huge empires on Christian principles. They're intrigued. 